Hey there, chosen ones. My name is Gracie. Today I would like to make a video um, in regards to gang stalkers and who really needs mental help. I have had a gang stalker here who keeps saying, you need help, get help, laugh out loud, get help, get help, laugh out loud. First of all, you are constantly watching me. Your life is focused, your, your whole life is centered on watching me, focusing me like you have nothing to do, right? I pretty much, I'm what you breathe, what you sleep, what you eat at this point, right? And it's like, the, is that normal for hu another human being to do to another human? Like, I don't even know you. Why are you so focused on me? Isn't that a mental health problem? You're so focused on somebody who doesn't give a shit about you. Who cares if you're alive or dead? And you're trying to tell me I need to get mental health help? No, honey. You are the one who needs mental health help. Because first things first, you think you have the powers. You're so delusional to think you have power to control other people's destiny and other people's lives. Right? A gang stalker harass, I can take the opportunities. If you were a healed normal person, you would know that you have your own life path. You would work on your own life path. Right? You would work on your healing. Because what has brought you to become a gang stalker is because you lack healing. Right? You never healed yourself. You suffer from some trauma that made you into a narcissistic idiot, right? Who now resorts to gang stalking in order to gain some sort of power over people that you see are going somewhere in life, right? You don't feel like as an individual you can manifest on your own. You depend on, you're codependent, right? So you depend on having a gang to feel powerful. Well, it's me as an individual who is a divine being because of all the work and healing work I've done on myself, right? I know that as an individual, I am powerful. I don't need a group to feel powerful, right? As an individual, I can manifest for myself, right? I am healed. I know not to control other people because that is the most stupidest thing I could ever think of doing, right? A true powerful individual is somebody who has self-mastery. A person who knows, who has self-control within themselves, right? And that is the most power you could ever have, right? I don't go around thinking, if I control this person's life, I'm going to get this opportunity. Or if I, I, I block this person's life, if I harass them and I go everywhere else, I'm going to take, take that boyfriend. If I, that is scarcity mindset. You're mentally ill. You are the one who needs mental health help. Yes. Because you're narcissistic and you are, your mindset is very disgusting. You are a sad being. Deep down inside, you have this lack mentality. You have a lack mentality. Right? And then you feel like I need to thief other people's opportunities. I don't think like you do. No, I feel like as an individual, I am powerful within myself. I can manifest for myself. I don't need to steal other people's opportunity. I don't have to have a lack mindset because I feel like I'm an abundant being, right? I can manifest anything I want in my life. You don't feel that way. You depend on a click, codependency. I need to be codependent on my gang or my group or we're gonna work together to get opportunities. No. You're sad. Your mentality is very sad. You need the help. You really, you are the one that actually needs the mental health help. And you also try to get off. You, you, you gang stalkers get off by, um, you try to provoke anger in, in, um, targeted individuals, right? And that way your money, your, 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 your harvest, your, your, um, you're harvesting positive energy in exchange of you exchange, you, you pretty much trying to exchange energy. You're trying to leave us with your negative energy and steal our positive energy. Because a lot of you laugh and smile. The only laugh you and smile you get in your life is when you see another person hurt. You're sick. You're saddest. You need help. You're, you lack empathy. That is not normal for a human being. And that is why a lot of you are called demonically possessed. You are demonic. You need that shit casted out of you. Yes. And you need pure, you need spiritual healing in your life. And I really do feel sorry for people like you. At the end of the day, divine beings will always prosper no matter what. The light will always triumph over darkness. At the end of the day, listen to this again, the light will always triumph over darkness. Period. You can't break me. You cannot break other divine beings. We know who we are. Have a good one.